Okay, today makes two weeks since we made the video of uh, cleaning up the greenhouse and transplanting everything. And uh, you can see here, this is the bed that we put in the um, pepper plants. And you can see right here, some pepper plants are just now starting to come up. So it's taking them about two weeks and it's still winter. We're still uh, in January. But look how well the tomato plants have done. Especially right here where the water comes out. You can see that they're just coming up. They, they were up within four days. And now look how lush they're getting. And then I want to show you over here where they're not getting the constant water. They're even starting to come up. So um, aquaponics is definitely the way to go when it comes to... Uh, planting seeds and sprouting them it's just uh, excellent look at all these tomatoes growing uh, we should have plenty to give to some friends and also to plant in our food forest and uh, as it warms up uh, the pepper plants they'll come on they're just now starting but uh, anyway we'll keep you posted and these are almost ready to transplant maybe another week or so and uh, we'll transplant them and we'll show you how that works Okay, we're here. It's been two weeks. Um, I filmed uh, a little bit of a video a week ago, and um, now that's been uh, two weeks since we transplanted these, and you can see how huge these uh, have grown. It's amazing what you can do in aquaponics. And then in this bed, we planted the uh, the pepper plants that were damaged and you can see here and they're all coming up they take a little bit longer to, to grow and start and uh, mature but once they get going they really produce so I'm going to set the camera up here and I'm going to show you how to uh, we're going to transplant and uh, take care of this uh, greenhouse okay here we are getting ready to transplant and I want to show you how easy it is I have to tell you, I've been doing aquaponics since 2009, and it's a wonderful, wonderful system. But uh, there's two things that are really powerful in aquaponics, far beyond anything else. And you'll see videos where people say, oh, this will solve world hunger and blah, blah, blah. It doesn't. But there are, it, if you're a gardener and... Um, you want to set up a small aquaponic system there's two reasons I would suggest to do that uh, one is as you can see here sprouting you can sprout almost anything in aquaponics not everything will grow to maturity but you can sprout so easily and I'll show you in a minute how to transplant out of aquaponics it's just incredible so if you just have a little aquaponic system because you can scale this to any size it, it'd be real easy to uh, sprout your own seeds and save yourself a lot of money from going to the nursery. The other thing aquaponics does is it grows lettuce better than anything and faster than anything. So to me the real power of aquaponics is growing leafy greens and I include chard and kale and anything leafy like that and uh, uh, sprouting. So I've decided since if you haven't seen my other videos, this is the third video in a, in, in a series where a couple weeks ago we had a really bad cold snap and we lost the heater malfunction and we lost every plant in the greenhouse. And the fruit was all soggy and it was had been frozen and it was ruined too, but the seeds are good. And you can see how it germinates and I showed on the peppers how they we were able to salvage the, the seeds from the plants and uh, my idea was to replant this in uh, peppers and tomatoes but I got thinking since I do the food forest oh and by the way I'll put the, the links uh, up here in the corner um, where you can go see those other two videos uh, they're they're pretty good they're only six seven minutes I think but they're they're good a anyway I, I got thinking the real power uh, of the food forest is to to grow in abundance 
and since I have a food forest and I have videos on that as well at the end of this video I'll put a link to one of my playlists for the food forest but uh, I'm gonna set up and we'll show you that at another time a system uh, I don't know if you can see but I've got wires over here with carabiners and string and I clip the tomato plants and pepper plants so that they grow and I can so I'm going to do that out in the food forest. I'm going to put in some T-posts, run a wire, and because uh, I think I can grow a, a hedge of tomatoes much better uh, in the food forest than I can here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn all these beds here into a musculin mix type lettuce where I can uh, grow it because I can control the weeds here. The lettuce grows very well and then I can just come and trim it and package it and sell it. But right now I want to show you the power of transplanting and, and, and sprouting. So I, I use a plastic uh, trowel so that I don't accidentally damage the, and uh, you just you just kind of loosen up the rocks and uh, there we go. There's. There's our look at look at the the beautiful root system, and how well and and, and then to transplant, and I found this tool on Amazon, so that I can. Uh, yeah, it's already hot in here. It's 39 degrees outside. It's early in the morning, and I'm already sweating. It's hot in the greenhouse. But uh, this is a dibble tool. It's called a pistol grip dibble. I got it on Amazon. I'll put a link to it on my video if you wanna get one but it's a pretty cool tool so to transplant all I need to do is make a little hole and uh, put the tomato plant in there and boom it's transplanted and I want to go real deep like this because all these little you can't probably see it on the video but tomato plants if you know get all these little hairs on them and uh, these will all sprout roots. The other thing uh, you might know about tomato plants is they put off suckers. And in aquaponics, you can actually you can cut the suckers, you can plant the sucker just like I did this plant, and it'll grow just fine. It it'll root out and and aquaponics it'll just do great. So um, transplanting in aquaponics is good too. I've had last year I had some pepper plants probably 18 inches to two feet tall full of peppers that I needed to move and I thought well I don't know if I'll kill them. I, I I dug them up with the trial in the aquaponics and I moved them to another bed they never missed a beat they didn't even know they were moved they didn't wilt they didn't suffer it was just incredible um, but anyway here's the thing too if I leave these plants here in the system uh, it, we're still in January and I can't plant outside until maybe mid-March so I got six seven weeks still to go if I plant if I leave these grow here they're gonna be way too big to transplant out into the food forest so what I've done is I've potted up these pots I got a whole bunch of pots and I use the same tool and I can go in here and I can make a hole And then I can take my tomato plant, stuff it down in there, just close it up and there we go. I've got a nice little transplant. So I'm going to do that with all these. I'm sure I'll have plenty and I'll give away some to friends and who, who also have systems and, and uh, grow. But uh, by putting them in these pots here, I can slow the growth down. Because I, I don't want these plants three feet tall, which they would grow to that here in Aquapani. Within six weeks, these plants will be three feet tall, flowering and getting ready to produce. So, uh, but I don't want to do that. So I'm going to transplant them here in these pots so I can move them out to the food forest. And then I'm going to convert these beds, and I'll show you that too, into lettuce. Uh, I'm going to do the musculin mix in the gravel and in the grass I'm going to continue with the heads of lettuce and we'll see uh, that's a little bit more 
profitable crop and we'll see how we can be successful at that. We're always learning here on the farm. Enjoy you watching the videos. Hope you're getting something out of them. If you would uh, like us and share our videos, we would sure appreciate it. And subscribe to our channel if you haven't. And we appreciate you watching. Thank you.